Hey guys, Doug Wagner here, showing you the new Swimming Invader from Muskie Innovations. This is the basic uh, shallow invader we've all known to love, but now with a new boot style um, attachment in the back. Uh, these, these baits have uh, obviously caught fish over a long period of time, and then Muskie Innovations came out with their Swimming Dog a few years ago. So now they've kind of mixed the best of both worlds um, to a new bait. If you guys see um, this uh, wire that I put in here, this is an extra attachment I do. I actually have a video on how I do that. I'll link that in the description below. Um, that's kind of an add-on thing that I do separately. Um, they generally come with a hook on both hook hangers. I push it back a little bit because um, where I fish, a lot of the fish generally kind of just nip the back of the bait. But regardless, um, this is a cool bait. It's, it's got the same rattles um, that your standard invader had. Like I say, it's got a different tail and the tail does a lot to the bait. It's actually made it a lot more subtle. If you see um, the standard shallow invader in the water, this thing kicks really hard. There's a lot of a lot of movement, a lot of vibration, a lot of sound. And this bait is actually a lot more subtle. And I think that's going to come into play in a few places. I know Green Bay, I, I generally like baits that are a little bit more subtle. Um, I actually already got bit on this one um, the other day, right in the back of the tail here. But uh, yeah, I, I really like the way this thing swims in the water. We're going to show you guys some underwater shots and hopefully you guys will be adding a new bait to your box. Like I said, it's going to cast the same. It's going to, it's a little bit longer. I guess if you look at it um, side by side, I should give you guys a preview of that. It is a little bit longer with that boot tail. Um, so I do make my wire extension a little bit longer. But as far as casting, it casts basically the same. There's, there's really not too much of a difference there. But we'll show you guys the action of this thing. It's really cool. So this bait, if you can see that, just, just coming by the boat, um, that boot tail really gives it a lot more subtle feel and it it still has the kick, the head kick of the of a standard crankbait, but it's got that roll and twist to the tail in the back of a swim bait. And it like I said, it trolled really good. I was trolling at three and a half, three point six miles an hour, um, and no blowout issues or anything. And this is actually the first time I've got to cast it, so we're kind of going through this together and it, it looks really nice. And the beauty of shallow invaders is, you know, it, they're so versatile. You can straight retrieve them. You can rip them all the way back to the boat. Um, you know, you can make contact with the bottom. They're a floating lure, so there's a lot of different ways you can fish them. But that thing just looks deadly. Super nice and slow rise on a rip. And that's one thing too. When I when I do that wire extension, you got to do it with very very thin wire. It's 174 pound wire so that you're not messing up the buoyancy of the bait because you want this thing to be able to float if you were to get hanged up. Um, if you put too heavy a wire on here, it'll actually sink and you don't want that at all. Oh, this thing looks great. Lemon tail color is really nice. I'm sure Brad and Brian will have a ton of great colors as they always do. But this thing's gonna be great. Lake of the woods, banging off rocks in the spring, just trying to get, get those lazy fish to commit to something. And it, it is a completely different bait from a shallow invader itself. Like it, it acts completely different in the water. The dive curve, I'm guessing, is going to be about the same. I, just, I like how subtle it is. I really like how subtle it is. That rubber is really soft. That boot tail is really spinning around. That's kind of the way I like to work them is a, a straight retrieve, getting that fish's attention, and then you just mix up that once or twice a cast, just kind of give it a twitch. It can be down, it can be up, it can be left. Or you can just plain out dead stop it and that bait's just going to kind of drop and come all the way up to the surface. All right, guys, that is my review for the new Swimming Invader. Uh, really impressed with this bait. It looks really nice in the water, but thank you guys for watching today's video. If you're not already, please subscribe below. Uh, we got all kinds of new fishing content coming out. If there's anything you want to see, comment it below as well. And I'm going to let you guys go, but uh, I'm going to keep fishing. <laughs>